All right, Las Vegas, VM World. I'm back with Chris Christian. Chris, how you doing? Doing great. Okay, now this time, instead of Vertex, you're going to walk us through FX2. Yes. All right, what is it? The FX2 is a uh, FX2 uh, stands for Flexible 2U Chassis. Uh, it is uh, one of three different uh, modular infrastructure platforms, like the Vertex, and our big traditional blade chassis, which most people know about. And it's our newest uh, in the portfolio or trinity of products around modular infrastructure. Cool. Let's I'm take gonna, a look. I'm going to show you why we call it a flexible 2U infrastructure. First, there it is. It is a 2U chassis uh, that a customer can buy and mix and match compute storage nodes as they see fit to match the workload requirements in their data center. Now, to give this flexibility, we have a, several different server offerings. Like the Vertex, we have a two-socket two um, half-width blade with 24 DIMMs, very much like the M630, but is, it is the FC630. It's a little bit uh, shorter and a little bit wider, but same sort of functionality, up to 44 cores of processing power, up to 1.5 terabytes of RAM. Uh, this model has both 2.5-inch uh, hard drive offerings and a 1.8-inch uh, SSD offering uh, for the FC630. Uh, all the nodes inside of the FX2 chassis are named FC for flexible compute. Uh, inside Vertex and M1000E, they are M series uh, for modular. Uh, I also have a quarter width. This is something that's pretty unique to the industry as an individually service, serviceable quarter width compute node. And this has all the bells and whistles of a mainstream server. I have two sockets, and this is E5 2600 V4, so I'm not uh, skimping on the processing power. I think I can go up, um, the, uh, the the wattage requirements are a little bit constrained here, because I have eight sockets in one U, uh, but it's a large portion of the bin stack for E5 2600 V4. I have a quarter terabyte of RAM over eight DIMMs, four here and four here. Uh, I have dual port 10 gig uh, on board which uh, pipes through to a redundant I.O. modules we'll talk about in a minute in the back. Uh, and then I have a PCI interface card that allows me to assign a PCIe slot to this server if I need to expand it. Uh, if I want to embed my ESX uh, server image, I can do it on our redundant embedded hypervisor on this SD card. And I can do that here in a redundant fashion, which has failover capabilities. And I have a 1.8-inch hard drive here, which operates in a RAID 1. And this is also hot swappable, low 1.8-inch hard drive there. Um, so basically, all the bells and whistles of a standard powered server, just in a quarter width blade. Rounding out my offering between the half width and the quarter width, I also not featured here, or pictured here, as I have a full width four socket E54600 V4 platform which can do up to 88 cores and three terabytes of RAM. And I can mix and match those pretty much in any manner I see fit. Um, I also have a storage blade that's a half width blade, not featured here, but you can check it out at dell.com slash fx2. Uh, and you'll see it's a storage blade that's about this size. Uh, it's a drawer that you pull out uh, and it has up to 16 drives and one or two RAID controllers, and those RAID controllers can be assigned to any compute node in the chassis. And it gives uh, direct attached storage expandability to the FX2 chassis, allowing you to flex the compute and the amount of storage that you deploy inside the chassis. But the front side is just half the story. Why don't we go in the back and yep. talk about that uh, I.O. modules and the PCI slots that let's, we talked about earlier. Let's do it. So here we have the back of the chassis of the FX2. Here I have the I.O. modules. The Fabric A, if you will, the onboard LAN on motherboard, connects to redundant I.O. modules that slide in the back here. And there's a redundancy there. I can do um, pass-throughs. I can do uh, uh, layer 3 switching. I can do layer 2 aggregation redundantly, redundantly here in the back. That's what the Fabric A or LAN on motherboard connects to. That other PCI slot uh, connectivity card I told you about connects to one of these guys. A quarter width blade would get one of these. A double width, or double width blade would get two of these. And a four socket uh, blade would get four of these. This is a by eight lane PCI slot that I can slide in and assign to these compute nodes to give myself 
expandability for network connectivity, like a quad port 10 gig NIC, a fiber channel card, uh, you name it, whatever fits inside this BI8 profile and this uh, a small form factor PCI slot. But as you can see here, the FX2 uh, gives, gives the purchaser granular control of every view of their data center to be able to mix and match compute, storage, and network, networking requirements as they see fit to make sure their workloads run the best. It's also the latest in our great trinity of products between our remote office-based uh, Vertex, our data center small uh, FX2, and of course our large M1008 blade chassis, which a lot of you may already know about. Awesome. Chris Christian, thanks so much. Thank you.